Hi, my name is Praveen Khetan. I represent iPlan Education. Welcome to another session of technical analysis. Today we're going to learn chart patterns, a very important patterns known as a wedge pattern. So let's understand. A falling wedge. A falling wedge is a bullish pattern. How this looks like? So what we see is, we see a downtrend a little bit, a lower high. Previous then basically, from previous high it's a little low. We see another lower high, that means actually the second high is lower than the previous high. And what we do is, we draw a line connecting both lower highs. And also we draw another line connecting to lows. And what we do is we wait for the price to break out. And there was an upward breakout. Most of the times if it's a falling wedge there we will see an upward breakout. Let's take an example. In this chart we see there are lows, we connect these lows and we are connecting this lower highs and we see here a wedge pattern and the price breakouts upward. In this situation we can keep low of the so this is the previous low before the breakout. So we can keep stop loss below this low. Now a rising wedge is a bearish pattern. Let's see how it looks like. So we see here a low and then there is a higher low and then another higher low. So what we do is we connect these higher lows and draw line. And then also what we do is we connect the upper, let's say the highs, which are actually the higher highs, and we then wait for the price to break this trend or the lower line. So basically the upper slope is a lesser sharper slope and the lower slope is a higher sharper slope. And this makes a wedge pattern where we have to wait for a breakout. And if there is a downward breakout, we can go into a short position. Let's take an example of rising wedge bearish pattern. What do we see here? We see a higher lows. And then we also see here higher highs. We connect this and draw two lines. We wait for the breakout. What we do here is we wait for the breakout and we can see the price went far below. Here this can, the upper range can be taken as stop loss if you take a short position here, somewhere here. So best is that you let this complete candle, the intersecting candle which is actually intersecting this slope should form and take an entry position at the next candle. Now let's see another example of a rising wedge. It's a bearish pattern. Now in this situation we have again connected the higher lows and then higher highs. What we have to do? We have to simply wait for the breakouts and our stop loss will be above this level. 